as you can see, I've come out here and harvested some out of the garden. The thing I'm most proud of this year is my bell peppers. They have turned out so good, and I've had so many of them, and my hot banana peppers, and my purple bells, and this wonky cucumber mixed, I'm pretty sure cross-pollinated with the watermelon, tomato, tomato, another beautiful bell pepper, a red pepper, and who can tell what shouldn't belong in this mix that I collected out of my garden? There's something in here that shouldn't have been there, but it's there every day. The following parts of the video is a little bit about the garden. Also, at the end of the video, my mom and sister did a taste test on my cucumbers that were crossed with watermelon, and they're going to tell you what they think. So we'll see you back in a little bit. Hi, Lexi. As you can tell, everything's overgrown. But... I'm fixing to take those tomatoes out. And of course, Cinnamon's still laying her egg in here. I see a big old tomato right here. But guess what? There's a bug on it. See it? That's a stink bug. But it's cracked. Got another bug on it. But look, I grew a pretty tomato if it wasn't for the bugs. I think I'm going to let the chickens have this one. Here's another one. Oh, I'm going to take this in, hang on to it. Not sure why it's flogged. I've actually forgot what kind of tomatoes I planted in here, but <laughs> they got tall. I didn't prune them down, take the, uh, what did they call them off? The suckers off. I should have got this one a couple of days ago before waiting on it to turn completely red. I guess you say I leave them on here too long trying to see what they're going to do and then something else gets to enjoy them. I'm not sure why it's kind of white in here. I'm going to give it to my chickens. Okay, I'm going to throw it in there, girls. Y'all have to fight over it. Let's see. I'll go in there later and break it up some, but they'll, they'll eat on it. But anyway, I see some little bitty ones. I'll have to go back and see what kind of tomatoes these are. There's another bug of some kind. But here's my herbs. Some of them have kind of died out, and I think my cat had something to do with that. My marigold didn't do good in here. Let me see if my German queen... I planted this one just for my mama. It's a German queen tomato, but I've not had any tomatoes off of it. Mama, let me down. Let me down. That's my cucumber plant that has been crossed with the watermelon plant. This in here is my lavender, and I'm not doing good either. I'm going to have to totally keep my cats out of stuff because I believe they're the ones that are doing most of it. Banana peppers. Looks like my cucumber plant here has decided to take off again. I actually put it up on <laughs> this tomato cage which the, the cats and the hen keeps knocking down. Let me see. There's more pepper plants that didn't do well. And some more lavender. This cucumber plant itself 
took off this year. I've got a cucumber coming up here that actually looks kind of normal for a change. Got more blooms. It's actually took off down into the yard here. And there's an overgrown cucumber there. Let me see if I can get it. This cucumber was kind of hidden down in here. So I'm sure it's way overgrown. So what I'm going to try to do is on the next cucumber I see growing, which is right there, I'm going to pull it pretty soon and see if it takes like it's a cross between a watermelon and a cucumber. I told you they would share that tomato. We don't waste it, do we, girls? No. I knew y'all would eat it. Y'all don't want any, do you? No. And... Here's some basil I need to get planted. And some uh, uh, garlic that I need to get planted. And this thing right here <laughs> is, I believe, one of my tomato plants. I told you I have an overgrown garden. This is what happens when Days run into weeks, or I should say minutes run into hours, and hours run into days, and days run into weeks. That's just the way it is with me sometimes. I plan on doing something that doesn't get done when it needs to. I have too much fun doing other stuff. My peppers this year, I have done the best with peppers. I know definitely got a red pepper right there. I planted several different kinds. A bell pepper, orange, uh, pepper, orange bell, something else. But my green pepper, green bells, and my hot banana peppers have done the best this year. The cooler weather, I think, might be bringing on all my bell peppers. Got some tomatoes coming right here. Don't know exactly what they're going to do. Beautiful bell pepper right there. These p tomato plants did nothing at all this year. So, I keep saying I'm going to rip out my garden, but I keep wanting to see what it might do so I'll know exactly how to go about stuff next year. More peppers. I'm the pepper queen right here in Shady Cove. Yes, I am. I'm going to take this tomato, I'm going to break it up, and I'll be right back. I threw the green tomato in there. wonder if they're going to eat it. My breakfast crew eats the best of any of my, my chickens because they're right down here at the house. They get all the scraps out of my little bitty garden. Sometimes they share, sometimes they don't. But I love them. Hi, kitty, kitty. Hi, Miss Thelma. No. You're long tail. Oh. Now, that wasn't nice, mister. I'm pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure that's Polecat. They've decided to name these ducks, the grandkids, after their nicknames. That one's Polecat after Eli. One of them's Ray Ray for Adeline. And one Sadie bug. So let's hope we got two girls and a boy because they took on the kids' nicknames. Okay, Polecat, I think that's a good name for you. These tomato plants are puny too. A lot of it, I think, had to do with the soil. I've got some tomatoes coming up on them, and if something doesn't eat them yet, we may have a few more tomatoes. I've got, I uh, believe this is pineapple sage. Yep, pineapple sage. I've not really been harvesting any of my herbs, which is what I should do, because I've been more interested in how they're going to grow this year, so I know what to do next year. The best thing about the whole garden this year was Eli's strawberry patch. 
Eli Strawberry Patch has took off. The only thing I did with the soil in there is add a little bit of uh, compost. But he's had been getting strawberries off and on pretty much all winter. I actually put a pepper plant in the middle. But it seems like something keeps eating my peppers. And I did see a strawberry in here, but I think something might have got it or Eli come out here and got it. Don't know which. Some more of my herbs that I planted that didn't do good. Like I said again, I don't know if it's the soil or not, but I'm just showing you like it is. This is the main culprit, I think, of my garden. Right, Thelma? Huh? No, you're Louise because you got the long tail. You're Louise. Yes, you are. You're Louise. I've got a little story about you, Louise, how I got you. Yes, I do. I'm going to share it one day. But these herbs right here I'm going to redo. <laughs> There's that. See? That's what's wrong. Thelma. Thelma. Ah, ah. You get out of my garden. Get out of my garden, girl. She digs on the soil all the time. They make good garden helpers. But that is what is wrong with my garden. So next year, I say I'm definitely doing different. Not getting rid of my cats, just working around them. Yeah, working around you. But it's been a learning process this year, and I've enjoyed it. But what I'm showing you here is Eli's watermelon plants. And if any of I doubt we're going to get watermelons. Seriously, this year. I've had a lot of blooms on them. They cross-pollinate it with my cucumbers, as you're going to see at the end of this video. We'll give you a taste test on the cucumbers. This is... <laughs> it's not a place to sit, girl. Get out of them. Not a place to sit. But this is what a pickling cucumber looks like when it crosses with a watermelon. Yes, sirree. And we have a taste test to prove what, uh, to tell you what it does. I just found one of my purple peppers. Is that not beautiful? That is so beautiful. That's going to go in a pasta salad. That is what I'm going to do with that one. Pasta salad. All those banana peppers. Lexi, you and Pocket's going to help me show them what to do in the garden? Huh? You going to show them? Huh? Come on. Come on. Louise. <laughs> they think this is their play area, folks. Trust me. Hello? Uh, what, are the, what are the girls doing here at Omi's house today? Well, yeah, what you got, Omi? There's a cucumber. Pick them cucumber. Oh, it is not. That, look at it. It's supposed to be. That's the one it's that a, came out of my garden. It's a misfit. It? I'm going to make everybody try them out to that. I, I mean, promised to taste test, didn't I? Yes, you did. Hi, and we get Zagsby's. Woo! -hoo. Woo. My brother Klaus from Florida. Holding his head down. And my name's Matthew. It does look like a cucumber. It looks like a cucumber. And smells like a cucumber. Does it? Yeah. Let me taste it. I'm going to taste it. Okay, taste it. How'd that happen? I'm going to put more melon. It tastes like water. I it smells like cucumber. It smells like watermelon. It smells like watermelon. It does it's smell like watermelon. It's kind of like. It smells exactly like watermelon. Like it's not exactly like cucumber. It has the. Okay. We'll yeah. get Connie trout when she comes back over. And this. That's a bush cucumber. A bush cucumber. It looks like. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know. Yeah. Eli and I got them the other night. But I don't have to feel like. What does it smell like? It don't smell. It don't, don't smell exactly like a. Don't really smell like a cucumber. Can you eat it? 
it smells more, it tastes more like a watermelon rind. Does it really? Watermelon rind? rind. So I goofed up this year by planting the two, but because I didn't know. the watermelon know. rind is green you know, next to the rind. Right. That kind of reminds me of the watermelon rind. Okay. Well, we're going to let Connie taste a bite of each and see what she calls them. Yeah. Connie, where are you? Is the cucumber red, too? Is that the green one first? We had this one first. Well, we okay. Them. This is the first one, the yellow. The yellow, the yellow cucumber. Here. She wants you to try and see what you think. My sister Connie. It doesn't taste like cucumber. like a watermelon rind. Yeah, watermelon rind. Watermelon rind. rind. Okay. What about the other one, Mama? Give that one to more, her. Not a bad taste. Just not different. a bad taste, but it's a watermelon rind taste. More cucumber. More cucumber for the bush cucumber one. First one more like a watermelon rind. Oh, okay. The second one. So you can. They did cross then. I'm sure. They did cross because I. Yeah. I think so. Okay. And we'll maybe take another. I'm gonna try them too. I might get. I might get. After my, you eat it, the after I eat, I'll get Omi to let me try it. To me, it's like a watermelon rind. Okay. Thank y'all. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.